Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to our special Home Loan Affordability Report, brought to you in association with the report sponsors, Roost Mortgage Brokers. Home loan affordability in New Zealand worsened slightly in November from October. That's because median house prices across most of the country increased going into the spring, and interest rates remain near record lows. The median price for New Zealand houses rose to a record 367500 nationally in November. And median prices rose in Northland, Central Auckland, South Auckland, Wellington Central, Christchurch and Dunedin, so across much of the, the big cities in New Zealand. We did see prices fall in West Auckland, Porirua and in the Hutt Valley. Overall then, it now costs 53.8% of disposable income to afford an 80% home loan on a median house in New Zealand. That's a single income, 53.8%. That's up from 53% or so last month. And again, that's because of higher median house prices. However, when you look at household affordability, when you've got a couple of incomes, particularly for first home buyers, remember a couple of incomes, no kids, we're still looking at a pretty affordable level for the main parts of New Zealand. 22% of after-tax income is required to service an 80% mortgage on a first quartile priced house, and that's up from 21% a month or so ago. And we're at near seven year, the, the best levels in nearly seven years for first home buyer household affordability in New Zealand. Obviously, provincial areas where house prices are lowest are best for first home buyers and on the fringes of the main cities. Of course, in the central cities of Auckland and Wellington in particular, and now also Christchurch, it is very difficult for someone on a single income, particularly a first home buyer, to get into a house. Obviously, apartments can be a bit cheaper. The key here for a home loan affordability is what's happening with house prices, and we, they seem to have been increasing through the spring, particularly in Auckland and Christchurch, and of course the outlook for interest rates. At the moment, the outlook is for interest rates to stay lower for longer. Economists are saying that the Reserve Bank is likely to keep the official cash rate on hold until the end of 2012. That's because the economy is growing relatively slowly. There isn't much inflation pressure around. We're in the middle of the 1% to 3% target band the Reserve Bank has to look at. And also, the outlook globally is for slow growth, particularly in the developed world. Obviously, the Economic crisis in Europe dominates the outlook, and that means there's plenty of uncertainty and means that people expect the official cash rate to stay on hold. Now, for many people who are with floating mortgages, they watch the official cash rate pretty closely. The other thing the Reserve Bank will be watching is the speed of the earthquake rebuild in Christchurch. It's crucial for the economy. All that activity in Christchurch will boost the economy next year. However, the very bad aftershock that's happened on Friday afternoon will be a factor in how quickly the rebuild happens. Remember, when you have these big aftershocks, insurers are quite wary about renewing contracts. People are wary about building in areas. They have to look again at all the, the, the building requirements. And that's an issue for the New Zealand economy. Will the earthquake rebuild in Christchurch be delayed again? Also, one thing to watch over the next year or so is whether or not higher funding costs for bank borrowing offshore is passed on here. Now we've seen with this turmoil on international markets, the cost of funding bank borrowing in these hot international money markets has increased a bit. We don't know exactly how much, and the question will be, will the banks choose to pass that on in the form of floating mortgage rate increase that is separate or decoupled from the official cash rate. So it's quite possible we could have an official cash rate stay unchanged, but we might see the floating mortgages rates increase slightly. We don't know whether that's going to happen yet, how much those funding costs have increased, or whether the banks choose to pass it on, but that will be one thing to watch over the next year or so. So there we have it. The Home Loan Affordability Report brought to you in association with Roost Mortgage Brokers. I'm Bernard Hickey for interest.co.nz.